हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अतुल कुमार वैभव आई हैव सिक्योर्ड ऑल इंडिया रैंक ऑफ 694 इन नीट पीजी 2025 एग्जामिनेशन इन माय फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट सो फ्रेंड्स इफ यू वुड हैव बीन फॉलोइंग दिस चैनल देन यू माइट बी नोइंग दैट आई आल्सो इंटेंड टू गिव द नवंबर 2025 अटेम्प्ट ऑफ आईएनआईसीटी एंड आई शेयर माय प्रिपरेशन स्टडी ऑन दिस YouTube चैनल रिगार्डिंग दैट सो यस फ्रेंड्स ओनली वन वीक इज लेफ्ट लेस देन वन वीक इज लेफ्ट इफ यू फॉर द एग्जामिनेशन इफ यू काउंट टुडे देन 7 डेज आर लेफ्ट इफ यू एक्सक्लूड टुडे देन ओनली 6 डेज आर लेफ्ट फॉर द एग्जामिनेशन एंड कंसीडरिंग ऑल द थिंग्स व्हिच आर कमिंग इन बिटवीन फॉर एग्जांपल द नीट पीजी 2025 round one counseling uh, choice filling is also there this week only and i have heard that many students have many candidates have got far away uh, places as their centers very far away from their homes so yeah they would also have to travel long distances so considering all these factors of choice filling and traveling and all i think for my uh, in my case i think that uh, only 3 days proper are left for revision and uh, reviewing all the stuff for the examination so yes the need the inict examination which i initially thought that i would give with a very good preparation and now i think that uh, it is many of the students are just giving it for the sake of giving because they have uh, you know filled the application form because so many things are coming in between and uh, there is a lot of headache choice filling and all those things it's a lot of headache and because of that uh, for example i can say that i have not studied properly for the past few days and i am not sure i would be able to study properly for the next few days because till 5th there is this choice filling thing so how will i revise in this one week considering all these situations that i am going to tell in this video what i have planned i have planned to you know uh, take a minimalistic approach which means that i will just uh, go through very concise uh, sources for example i have decided to go through uh, the btr notes and uh, that to going through the btr notes in 3 to 4 days is also a very big task so yeah i will just try to cover important subjects or the very hard subjects only which i feel difficult and maybe a few videos of lrr or dbt or maybe marathon i will watch of the weaker subjects so yeah very minimalistic approach now whether i will read notes or whether i will watch videos so today i decided to read the notes and you know i dozed off reading the notes i felt sleepy reading the notes once again so yeah most probably i will watch videos on 2x so whatever you are doing if you like or love doing notes do notes if you watch uh, if you love watching videos do that means you don't you don't waste your time that's what i want to say for example if you are getting sleepy reading notes then switch on to the videos if you get sleepy watching videos then switch on to maybe doing some mcqs of previous year or something like that means uh, just try to uh, utilize all the time no strategy is perfect at this time okay your strategy is perfect you must believe in your strategy whatever strategy you are following you should have faith you should have belief in your own uh, strategy and you must follow it but one th the few things which i want to say is that number one you must not jump to new sources at this moment of time a lot of uh, revision sessions short uh, crash courses sort of things are coming on youtube and various other platforms you must not go and watch all those things uh, unless and until you have studied from that faculty before so if you have studied from that particular faculty before then you can watch their lr lrr sessions or whatever those short crash course sessions otherwise if the faculty is new to you then don't jump to those things do only those things which you have done before okay and don't try to do and clear all your backlogs this is not the time this is not the week to clear all your backlogs and those backlogs which you are not able to clear for for so many months you won't be able to clear in this last one, one week so don't even try to do that okay just try to do very uh, less and concise things and try to revise once all the 19 subjects and that will be the plan for me also and now the question is how many questions to solve how many questions to do mcq so at this moment of time uh, this time i have changed the strategy earlier last time i the, my maximum focus was on questions only but this time i have changed the strategy and i have decided to do few questions only here and there of those subjects which i will be revising of those subjects only i will do few past previous year questions so that will be my strategy not a lot of questions and gts how many gts to give again the last uh, la last time during i uh, need pg my strategy was different i used to give a lot of uh, gts even one or two days before the examination but this time again i have tried uh, i have decided not to do that and i will focus more on the revision part and only i have planned one gt to give okay so that i will try to give uh, maybe in two to three days once i complete the choice filling and all those things so one gt i will give apart from that i will not give again you might be thinking that whether i want uh, whether i should give gt or not uh, how many gt should we give so ideally you should focus more on revising i would say and gt like uh, one or two gt's max one gt would be good i think but again no strategy is perfect your strategy is perfect you must remember that if you feel bored reading the notes and videos and all those things if you want if you want to do questions if you want to do gt's then you can definitely do gt's you must not ask other people regarding that if you feel that uh, doing gt's will save your time and you will not feel sleepy you will not waste your time you will not get distracted if you give the gt's and review the gt's if that strategy works for you then make it work for you okay you do you do that only but the thing is that you don't uh, jump to new sources and you must have confidence in yourself you must be very confident however 
whatever be your level of preparation whatever you might be scoring in earlier gts it does not matter you must think that you will make the final day as the best gt of your life and uh, that should be the motto and because ultimately the final score and the final ranks matter your previous gt scores don't matter and if you go uh, f- you know if you are f- uh, fearful of the outcome and if you go in anxiety as many aspirants do then whatever you have gained you will lose so instead of doing that just be confident and you, you will be in a f- far better situation and far better rank uh, than your current level of preparation so yeah confidence is the key to success so yeah be confident and revise the stuff and for all those who are in a situation like me who have to balance the counseling and uh, traveling to the new place and giving the examination revising for it and all those things we have, you have to manage then, then best of luck to you too for all of us i just pray that everything happens smoothly these two weeks are going to be very hectic for us so yeah i pray that everything happens good and we you know sail through this time uh, smoothly Hope you enjoyed the video. For more such content, you may like, share and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching.